Hello, Jason here. And in today's video, it's just a short video today, but it's a very important one nevertheless. I'm going to give you a free government calculator, which will help you to work out the um, volume that is discharged from your property into your septic tank and your soak away. So why is that important? Well, let me show you. It's important because the government say that if you produce X amount of litres or gallons every day, then you have to apply for a permit. And so I'm on the government website here under septic tanks and treatment plants, permits and general binding rules. So here we go. It's speaking about per, uh, permits here. And it's just this little section here I want to show you. If you discharge sewage to the ground, so basically if you've got a septic tank that discharges liquid, liquid into a soakway, then this is uh, pertinent to you. And so here it speaks about outside an SPZ1 zone. So basically you just living in a normal area where there's no restrictions, okay? But the restrictions are that if your house, your property, puts out or puts into your septic tank between 2 and 15 cubic meters of wastewater a day, then you need to apply for a permit. So how do you know how much liquid your property is producing? Well, the government have got something called a calculator, sewage discharge calculator for domestic properties. And this is what I wanted to show you. If you scroll down the page, you'll see a section here that says daily discharge calculator for domestic properties. Now, if you click that, then you will download something that looks like this. OK, so here we go. So if I so it says it, this is called a, a daily discharge calculator for domestic properties. You can't see all of it because my um, image there, the little square image of me is just hiding the title. Let's see if I can uh show you that uh no i can't show it to you but anyway the point being is is that this is the discharge calculator okay now once you've downloaded the discharge calculator you'll see there's some little bars there two green bars and a blue bar and it, it's asking you to enter the number of properties that are connected to your septic tank so in this instance let's just do one property there you go now how many bedrooms has your property got well let's say for argument's sake you've got four bedrooms so let's put four in all right so once you've done that you just hit the return button and there you go voila it tells you the number of liters that your septic tank and your house is pushing out every day so in this instance um it's just under one cubic meter right which is great so no problem so what about if you've got let's put six but uh, let's put six bedrooms in there okay it's going up slightly now but you're still well under the uh, permittable usage allowance so what if you've got eight bedrooms let's say you've got a nice big mansion yep you're still fine now this is where it gets interesting let's say you've got two properties so let's say you're living in a, um, a 70 detached house and your neighbor and you going into the same septic tank so if i just put zero there and put that back to zero so let's put two properties in now all right so let's start off and say the number of bedrooms is going to be four between the two the two uh, properties now uh sorry that's two i meant to put four in there let's put four in there there you go so now you can see it rising steeply but you're still in the safe zone so let's see each of those properties has got three bedrooms okay three bedrooms 1.5 cubic liters a day you're fine so let's go for four bedrooms at each property there you go so you're still okay but the point being is this will tell you when you're not okay so let's say there's four properties right let's put change the number of properties here put that four and let's say each of those has got five bedrooms wow okay they're still safe all right well that's good then isn't it all right so let's go for five properties let's break this calculator here there we go all right so 
let's say you had five properties all going into the same septic tank and they all had five bedrooms then it would you'd be putting out 2.1 cubic liters a day and if that's the case according to the government regulations here going back to here if it's between 2 and 15 cubic meters a day then you need to apply for a permit and to apply for a permit if this applies to you then you just literally click on this link here that says between 2 and 15 cubic per meters a day and there you go that will take you to the application page and uh and you've got loads of various different documentation there that uh, you can read up on and you'll also have the guidance and um when you click this uh documentation here there you go that is the form that you will have to fill in for an application to um for a permit for more than two uh, for over two cubic meters but below 15. there you go so i hope that's helped you every little helps doesn't it as the saying goes and um these are all little tips um of the trade that can save you a lot of money in fines and prosecution or help you to sell your house you know when the solicitors representing the people who are buying your house ask you all these kind of awkward questions so listen thank you very much for watching this video today if you'd like to see more of me then just go to septic type in septic tank tv on uh google and um if you want to get your free government calculator then just click the link below this video so listen you take care thanks for watching this video and i will see you soon for more information just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.